Okay, so I just, fair warning to everyone who's on Twitter, I just told them, here comes a conversation that got everybody riled up. At the top of the hot list was my conversation with CNN contributor Roland Martin yesterday. Roland and I were discussing Virginia Governor, Republican Governor Bob McDonnell proclaiming April Confederate History Month, right? And our talk yesterday on the show ignited what can be called a firestorm. The interview went viral. You guys burned up the phone lines. So we figured we had to run part of the interview again. I started off by asking Roland about the political ramifications of the proclamation. I went to the website just to see what it was about, Roland, and here's what he said. He called right. the Civil War, quote, a four-year war between the states for independence. <laughs> what does that gain him politically by doing You're, this? Uh, okay, for, for, first of all, here's your deal. Uh, and this is the, the problem. Republicans are always talking about how they don't like for folks to brand them as being racist or bigots, and I understand that. But the last two Democratic governors, Mark Warner as well as Tim Kaine, did not issue a, pro a pro proclamation. Tim Kaine uh, also said, look, <coughs> it makes no sense. The two previous Republican governors issued the same proclamation. And so who are they actually playing to? This is really a recognition, Don, of American terrorists. They were terrorists. Well, These were people who committed treason. No, no they were terrorists. But hey, Roland, let me, let me tell you this. I, I understand what you're saying. And when we talked about this, listen, I, I'm a freedom of speech person. I believe that people have the right to say and protest whatever you want. If you start, you know, threatening people, if there's hate speech or that kind of thing, that, that's where you draw the line. There is a, a history to this country for, for Confederacy, but should we celebrate it? That's a question. Don, what he says, they were let me, let me, terrorists. Before you answer it, before you answer it, he says um, that... What exploration? We are going through a period where we need to d explore our history, and an exploration of our history can benefit all. That's what he said. And expo okay, exploration right. of our and history I can, can and benefit I can all. Give you in, I can give you in 30 seconds versus a whole month what, the, what, the, what it was all about. These were American terrorists. These were individuals who were committing a sin against humanity, who wanted to keep the system of oppression, the de degradation, uh, an absolute uh, denial of opportunities for African Americans. Hey, we're celebrating people, and had they won, Don, you and I would not be sitting here right now. You and I would be in the fields right now uh, as property as opposed to being free <laughs> individuals. And so it's, it, that's like somebody saying, oh, we're going to celebrate uh, the Nazi soldiers by saying, well, they were only doing their job as opposed to uh, working in concentration camps. I'm not going to let these folks off the hook. This is a celebration of American terrorists, not, not freedom of speech, not the First Amendment. That's what it is. I, I get your why, point. Why I mean, do we want to sit here and play around with it? People always say that. I mean, we can't predict. We, can't, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know how it would have been the other way. But Okay, well, let, well, well, well let's start with what right they were doing. I think they you're probably right in a sense we I'm may not, not have, right. as African Americans, no, right. have the same opportunities. Probably. But we don't know if we're going to be in the field or whatever. And a lot of you thought that I was disagreeing with what Roland had to say. What I was disagreeing was that he didn't have a crystal ball. He didn't know exactly where I would be sitting or he would be sitting or anyone else for that matter. So I didn't disagree with what he had to say, just one point of his argument. So, you know, as the day went on and the evening, this really picked up steam. Roland Martin later appeared on AC360 right here on CNN. Uh, he appeared on that show along with brag bowling of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, and it really got even more heated. Look at this. I think Governor McDonnell was writing a proclamation for our organization, and that's the approach he took. And he's changed it now no, no, because, of, because of, uh, of the vitriolic opposition of people like Roland. Roland, I want you to be able to respond. No, and here's the problem. Your, you, your organization does not represent all Virginians. He is the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. That means whites, African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, men, women, people who support Confederate veterans and those who oppose them. When the governor makes this kind of decision, he has to make it for all of the people in that particular state. That is what's so offensive. No one, any right-thinking person, especially any African American, would not sit here and support the praise and celebration of a group of people who wanted to oppress their ancestors. So when you talk about your ancestors, trust me, mine were in chains, they were beaten, they were oppressed, they were degraded, families were broken up. And for you to say, well, they had to sacrifice, well, guess what? People with my skin color paid a significant sacrifice by dealing with the folks who you are supporting. Well, I can say this, uh, that I don't think that, uh, that you represent uh, the feelings of all black people either. 
All right, well, here's uh, what the Reverend Jesse Jackson had to say. He was in Atlanta today, by the way, so I asked him to come over and share his perspective. Listen. It should never be used to politically exploit fears for votes. And you think that's what it is, exploiting fear? Oh, the governor knew exactly what he was doing. He knew what uh, bell he was ringing. We can't celebrate secession from the Union. We can't celebrate sedition and slavery and, and, and segregation and lynching. We cannot celebrate the fact that we had to have legislation to make lynching a federal crime. We, we can't celebrate something so, so ugly, so painful. We should never forget it, but we should always put it in perspective. Okay, listen, uh, that was the Reverend Jesse Jackson. I want to tell you, I spoke with uh, Roland Martin today. Here's what he had to say. And so I, I left my glasses that everyone comments on, good or bad, at home. So these are my old ones. Here's what Roland says. Right now, there is a family member of an al-Qaeda terrorist that is saying they have a calling, a mission to do what they did. And it was just, uh, it was just and it was right. Just like al-Qaeda, the Confederate warriors were terrorists. They were trying to uphold a system that was and is a sin against humanity. And I will not be silent in calling it exactly what it is. They were and are domestic terrorists who took up arms against their country. Again, that is from Roland Martin. Spoke to him uh, not more than an hour ago about uh, some of the things that people are saying about him and what they're calling him as well. Listen, I want to tell you, if you want to comment on this, if you want to, uh, whatever you want to say about it, talk to other people on Twitter. Go to Twitter, uh, at Don Lemon CNN, of course, at Rick Sanchez CNN, and we'll get your comments on the air. Hey, thanks. Someone said, I am so glad that you guys reran this segment. Thank you very much. We